Welcome to the Puget Sound Gateway Program's SR-167 completion project. This project constructs six new miles of tolled expressway between Puyallup and the Port of Tacoma, along with sidewalks and shared-use paths for non-motorized travelers. The purpose of this project is to ease congestion on local roads and highways by giving freight direct access to local ports and warehousing centers, which will also improve safety for the traveling public. The project is being constructed in stages Stage 1A, Stage 1B, Stage 2A, and Stage 2B. Stage 1A was completed in 2022. Stage 1B started construction in the summer of 2022 and is expected to be completed in 2026. Stage 2A is scheduled to start construction in 2025, with expected completion in 2027. Stage 2B is scheduled to start construction in 2026, and the entire project should be completed in 2029. Stage 1A built the new SR99 roundabout, the Wapato Way Bridge over I-5 and the new trailhead facility to the Interurban Trail. Stage 1B will build a new two-mile-long tolled expressway from I-5 and Fife to the intersection of Alexander Avenue East and SR-509 near the Port of Tacoma. On 54th Avenue, a new roundabout will provide a local access to the new expressway. Stage 1B will also feature the initial construction of a Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI, at I-5 in Fife. At this stage, the DDI will go into partial operation, providing access to SR-167 from southbound I-5 and access to northbound I-5 from SR-167. The Diverging Diamond Interchange will be completed during Stage 2B. This will allow full utilization of the DDI by adding access from SR-167 to southbound I-5 and access from northbound I-5 to SR-167. Stage 2A and 2B will build four miles of new tolled expressway between Interstate 5 and the SR-161 interchange in Puyallup. The expressway will have a partial interchange at Valley Avenue East building the ramps to the north toward I-5. The ramps to the south toward Puyallup are unfunded at this time. The expressway also includes a second diverging diamond interchange in Puyallup at North Meridian Avenue, also known as State Route 161. The SR-167 completion project will also construct a shared-use path, which will offer non-motorized users a contiguous regional route from Alexander Avenue East, near the Port of Tacoma, to 4th Street Northeast in Puyallup. This path will be named the Spoyolopops Trail. Spoyolopops is the Lachute seed name for the Puyallup people, translated as people from the bend at the bottom of the river. The name Spoyolopops is also associated with the Puyallup people's generous and welcoming behavior. This path will be built in sections during all construction stages. The Spoyolopops Trail will connect the Interurban Trail in Fife and the Puyallup Riverwalk Trail along the Puyallup River. The path will provide users with access to the Puyallup River Valley, along with amenities that will highlight the culture and heritage of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. In addition, this project has a riparian restoration program that covers about 287 acres of wetlands. This includes the riparian corridors along Hylobos Creek, Surprise Lake Tributary, and Wapato Creek. This program will remove invasive vegetation, plant thousands of native plants, and add forested buffers near the stream channels, enhancing fish and wildlife habitat. It will also improve water quality, reduce flooding on local streets, and contribute to climate resiliency. Once restored, 116 acres of wetlands will be returned to the Puyallup Tribe of Indians for environmental stewardship and preservation. The Puget Sound Gateway Program's SR-167 completion project will connect Puyallup to both Fife and Tacoma by building improved highways, expressways, and interchanges along with the new shared-use path. It will include improved access to public transit and a collaborative restoration of the natural wetlands and streams. 
This project is a strategic investment in Washington State's freight mobility, congestion relief, and multimodal growth, and will benefit all users, both now and well into the future. Thanks for watching. For more information, please see the project links in the YouTube video description.